Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can check one list against another list. So check for a number in one list to see if it exists in another list. So on the screen, I've got an example of the finished article. So if I click into cell C2, you can see there that I've got three functions, the if, the is in A, and the match function nested to give me the result that I want. So in this first example, it's looking for this number, one, two, three, four, five, in this list. Now I've called this list, this list is called last week. So I just typed it in there and pressed enter. And this one is called this week. I don't really need that one actually. So what I've done is I've nested these functions so you can see how it works. Now each of those functions are shown separately in column E, F, and G. So if I click onto the first one, the match function, what's that do? So match, it says, look at B2, which is one, two, three, four, five. Look at the list last week. So if you don't name the list, you'll have to dollar sign the list, otherwise when you pull it down, it will just go down here. And then that zero means get an exact match. If it comes back with NA, it means it's not in the list. Not in the list. If it comes back with a number, it's in the second position of the list, or in this case. So 1212 is in the second position of this list, so it's there, basically. And NA, it's not there. Now, in this column, column F, is NA, this is just true or false. So does that cell say NA? If it does, true, which is 1. If it doesn't say NA, 0, which is false. And then the last bit is... The if, so basically, if this says one, it must be a new number. If it doesn't say one, it's the same number or an old number as I've got there. So let's just type this out in this column, column D, and see how that works. So if I just widen this a little bit. So it's, I'm going to start off with a match function first off. So it's equals match, open the bracket. So I'm looking at this number. B2, comma, I'm looking at the list, the named range last week, comma, and I need an exact match, so zero. And then I'm closing the bracket on that, clicking the tick first of all, and I get NA, which is what I'm expecting, that's correct. Now I need to put the is NA around it to see if it returns NA. So if I go in front of the M, and just type is n a open bracket does all that return n a and then i'm just going to close the n a bracket is n a bracket at the end tick that so it's coming back with the word true and then i now need to put the if on there so if all of that comes back with true which means it's a, a new number comma that's got to go inside text quotes like that, comma, otherwise it's an old number. Close it. If bracket. Check that. So we've got an open bracket for the if, open for the is NA, open for the match, closed. Two closed brackets there for the match and is NA, and a closed bracket at the end for the if. So tick that. And it says new, which is what that one's saying. And then I can just double click that down. Don't need to worry about dollar signs because I've named that list last week. So this is a very common question that I get asked. How do you check one list against another? Now, whether you put an if statement on it or does it do in is any is up to you. You can probably just get away with the match function if you just need to know whether it's there or not. Because NA would say it's not there and the number is the position it is. But adding the is and a and the if just tidies it up a little bit and you can see it like that. So hopefully this little video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.